Now in my bowl here I've got six ounces of plain flour and that's been sifted and here I've got four ounces of butter this has a higher fat content and the butter has been wrapped in foil and placed in the freezer for half an hour this is to make it really really firm because what I'm going to do is I'm going to grate the flour sorry grate the butter into the flour so the foil that I wrapped it in I'm holding it with because of the heat of my hands and I'm going to first of all just dip it down into the flour like that and then start grating on my grater so there's no rubbing in in fact you know this this could be said to be easier than short crust because you don't have to rub it in you just have to grate it like this now when you get down to the very last bit of the butter you've got to be careful um, because you don't want to cut your fingers. I don't want to, especially on television. And so we're just going to be very careful with that bit there. And if you've got a few little lumps like that, they can just go in. Now it is quite a large amount of butter, but I'm going to say what I always say, and that is, I'm not going to eat this every day. I'm not going to eat it every month, maybe. But when I am going to eat it, I want it to taste good. And in pastry, butter is what gives the best flavour. You can use other products, other fats, but you get the best flavour from butter. And that's the reason you can't actually buy good pastry like this in the shops, because they very, very rarely make it with butter. In fact, I've never found in this country a puff pastry that's made with butter. So the next thing I'm going to do, as you can see here, is just flick the flour all around the gratings of butter with my palette knife, no rubbing in. And this keeps everything nice and cool as well. So give it a few good flicks round until all those bits of butter are nicely coated with flour. And then we're going to start adding water. And this pastry takes much more water than short crust, so you don't have to be quite so careful in the beginning. So what I'll do is I'll add two tablespoons of water to start with. Then go back in with my palette knife and start to mix with that until it becomes nice and moist. And yes, not nearly enough, so we'll give some more. I think I'm going to go in with another two here. But the rules are the same as the short crust. You mustn't add too much and you start at the end like that to go in with your hands now and just gently bring it all together and if you need to add a few more drops of water on your fingertips because what we want is to get all those bits of flour and butter in. And what happens to them is because they're in little lumps, the bits of butter, in the pastry they create little air pockets and this is what gives it its lovely flaky texture. So once again, that's going to go into a polythene bag and it's going to go into the refrigerator to rest for half an hour before it's rolled out. Mm -hmm.